Welcome back. Betsy DeVos has been the target of nonstop criticism ever since she became the education secretary. But Randy Weingarten, the president of the American Federation of Teachers, reached a new low when she recently criticized DeVos, saying her push for school choice is racist. Weingarten said, quote, Make no mistake, this use of privatization coupled with disinvestment are only slightly more polite cousins of segregation. So somehow, giving low-income parents the opportunity to get their kids out of failing neighborhood schools, allowing charter schools and others to innovate and experiment with curriculum and inserting some competition back into our stagnant education system, that's all racist? Here to try and make some sense of this, it's former Texas Congressman Dr. Ron Paul. Welcome back, Dr. Paul. Thank you, Kennedy. Good to be with you. Is school choice racist? Well, I guess if you play the race card, it's racist. No, that's just, uh, you know, the demagoguing that goes on. And, uh, of course, there's tricks in the word choice, too. Not many people, most people don't have a choice. They have to go to public school, and they're told where to go. There used to be laws that compelled you uh, to take a bus and go someplace to school. So there's, there's nothing uh, much about the, the choice. And today they're trying to correct that, of course, with, uh, uh, with vouchers and different things, but uh, to declare that that in itself is, is racist is just uh, playing a race card because all you have to do is if you don't like something, do that, and then uh, you, you're you supposed to lose all credibility and say, oh, we don't care about people, and, and because we want, uh, some people want to give people a little bit more choice and maybe break up the monopoly of the public school system, uh, that, that's the big thing. But uh, the one thing is, is you can't, you can't have a government system to have perfect uh, choice yeah. and uh, make it perfect equality because it's impossible because even picking the books they can demagogue that issue too I mean if, if uh, who's going to determine the books and the books make as much difference as anything else what kind of education will the school system have if uh, if somebody from Washington dictates you know all the books that the people are going to read so uh, I think there's not enough choice I think there's an attempt at a very sincere uh, of uh, try, trying to get people out of the system, uh, voluntarily let somebody qualify. But it's still, I understand that more people want out and they want vouchers than they can, people can, uh, you, you know, use them. So it's, it's really the system they're trying to get away with. And unfortunately, uh, this is a reasonable discussion, but it doesn't solve the problem of a monopoly system by the federal government That's that right. dictates all the rules. And uh, of course, once again, uh, where does the government get all this authority to try to perfect all our public schools? Yeah, absolutely right. And obviously, Randy Weingarten is scared that her clutch on power is loosening. And it's, it's all a reaction to that. Dr. Paul, thank you so much. Thank you. Good to be with you. Thank you.